everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm so excited about my new book binding guide with We Are Memory Keepers in my favorite color of pink. So when you get this tool, it comes with the guide and inside this storage pocket it has an awl for piercing and it has a little instructional booklet with instructions for three different stitches, the saddle stitch, the Coptic stitch, and the Japanese stitch. And then it comes with two needles, a straight needle and a curved needle, which you need to use when doing the Coptic stitch, as well as a spool of white waxed thread. So I'm going to show you how to do the basic saddle stitch today, and I'm using my new collection with Pink Paisley called Truly Grateful, and I'm trimming this first pattern paper to 7 inches by 10 inches, and then this one will be 5 inches by 10 inches, and this one will be six inches by eight inches, and then with these ones, I'm trimming them to seven by 12 and six by 12. And the reason they're 12 inches is so that I can fold them over and create flaps. So I'm folding this paper in half, and then I'll fold the edges into the crease, but not all the way into the crease, leaving about a quarter inch on either side. And this creates a really fun and interactive style of album. So I'll do the same thing here. This one, I'll fold, fold this right flap over about an inch, and then I'll fold this other edge over the other direction about an inch. I probably should have used a scoring tool to do this because it didn't come out straight, but that's okay. It's not too crooked. This one I'll just simply fold in half as well as the remaining two pieces of pattern paper. So it's really fun how you can trim your pages to any size, any shape, and then arrange them in the order you want them to go. So align the creases all together. Just trying to figure out how I want that one to be oriented. Fold it up and this is basically how your book is going to look. Now we're going to use the book binding guide. So unscrew those two screws from the top and bottom and you want to place your pages flat all the way at the top, pressed against that edge, and then screw the guide back in place. Using the paper piercer or the awl, I am piercing a hole through all of the holes that have the black circle outline around, and I actually messed up and pierced an extra hole, and I was going to start over, but I want to show you how you can fix fix if you punch in it or if you if you pierce an extra hole you can still create a lovely book so you don't need to worry about it we all make mistakes and I just want to show how you can overcome them in this situation so you need to trim a piece of the waxed thread or I'll talk about different options in a little bit it needs to be twice as long as the height of the book and then I'm starting at the second hole from the top and from the inside pulling it through, leaving a few inches so that I can tie a knot at the end, going out the next hole, and now I'm basically doing a weave. So I'm going up and down, up and down, every other hole. So this is creating the saddle stitch, and you don't have to use this thread. You can use yarn. You can use a different color of embroidery thread. You can get really creative and clever with this kind of stitching. Another option that you can do to add some fun charms is when you're stitching on the outside. You can add a charm into one of the loops before stitching back through the next hole. So you can add trinkets and bits and baubles and fun things to the binding, which I always love to do. I just love things dangling off of my books. So you can see, I basically just kept stitching over my mistake. There was an extra hole pierced, but you can't even tell because I just kept stitching normally. And then I turned around and kept stitching up to the top. Last hole, you can remove your needle and then tie a double knot. You can either do this on the inside of the book or if you start on the outside, you can tie a charm into that knot too. And then trim the excess ends of the threads. Seriously, that's it, my friends. This is so easy. I literally created this book in three minutes. And how fun is that? It's ready for photos. It's ready for embellishments, journaling, memories. And that's it. So easy. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. I hope you are excited to pick up this new bookbinding guide and tool from We Are Memory Keepers in this light pink color. Thanks so much. See you again soon.